The thing that we have to face is that life is this simple. See, we are living in a world that is absolutely transparent, and God is shining through it all the time. And this is not just a fable or a nice story, it is true. See? And this is something we're not able to see. But if we abandon ourselves to him and forget ourselves, we see it sometimes and we see it maybe frequently. See? But God manifests himself everywhere, in everything. In people and in things and in nature and in events and so forth so that it becomes very obvious that he is everywhere and he's in everything and we can't be without him. You cannot be without God. It's impossible. It's just simply impossible. And what is it that makes the world opaque and makes it uh, not transparent anymore? It is care. See? Uh, because everything becomes opaque in proportion as we regard it as an individual object and we become concerned with it. There's this individual thing. There's this day that I have to live through. It's a particular day, and here, and so it's opaque. See? It comes to me. It's, it's, it comes to me in a big opaque package, and I spend my time opening it up. And then when I've taken all the package apart, then it's the evening. It's the examination of conscience, and I examine myself. And I took off all the paper off the package, and I wasn't anything. And that the people, that the people are transparent, and that the humanity of God is transparent in people. See? And that you don't have to take each person as an opaque package. See? Who is the mystery of this crazy person here? That I have to analyze this person. See? That I have to look across the car and what makes that guy tick? See? Well, you don't have to know what makes the man tick. All you've got to see is that he is a manifestation of the humanity of God. There is humane, humaneness, human, humanness, manness in God, which is manifested by every human being. Not only by the fact that he's a creature of God, but by the fact that he's redeemed in Christ. So now this again is our life, and this is what it's for. The life of the world, in this wrong sense of the word, as we were saying the last time, is a life of care, and it's a life of useless care, and it's a life of self-defeating care because basically what the life of the world is, the world in this particular sense, is what? It is a life which, is, which cannot confront the inevitable fact of death. Since God offers to take upon himself the care of our affairs, let us once for all abandon them to his infinite wisdom. It is a life in which you no longer care about anything because God is taking care of everything.